Hey everybody, we're back again. Uh, got another jig for you here today. It's uh, I've got a 1 16th ounce peel head jig. Uh, it's orange with a little black on the on the bottom of it. So that's what we're going to be a tying up. I'm going to be using some of this new marabou I got. Uh, it's MFC marabou. I picked it up at Bass Pro Shop. Guys, I think it's pretty expensive for what you get. Uh, you don't get a lot of it. Uh, it's not like the regular marabou. You don't get near that much. Uh, but anyway ahead and bought a couple of packs of it. I bought some yellow and uh, yellow and orange. It's the mini barred marabou. Like I said it was $6.79 I think for a pack of it and it's uh, it's a big pack but it doesn't have a lot of marabou in it. Okay. So I've got thread fixed up here, so let's go ahead and get us some thread laid down. I like the barred marabou. I wish it was a little bit uh, cheaper than what it is. I mean, I don't know about this, but uh, I like the look of it. You can put it that way. So we'll put some Sally Hansen down on the threads. We're going to be using our crawfish chenille on this jig. So we'll just, like always, we'll just pinch it down. Up there's what we, the look we're going to have. So I'm just going to lay it right on top of the hook and we will, uh oh, hit the camera. Go you know, four or five wraps, make sure it's tied in good get it secured and then we'll cut it off ah. Let me turn it back there just a little bit and we'll tie it right up to the head I'm not going to put any I'm not going to put any polar flash or anything this in, in this just because I don't have any that I think will look right. I guess I could let me just to get a little flash in it. I've got some black crystal flash here, so let me just get a see if I can find a couple of straight pieces of it. And we'll just put some black crystal flash in it. Since we've got it, we'll use it. Just pull it straight back and tie it right back down to the bottom. We'll cut this off just past the end of the marabou. There we go. And now we're going to use this uh, crawfish chenille medium. Once again, we'll get our Sally Hansen and go over these threads. I'm going to peel this off just a little bit. Just strip it off I want to catch a little bit of that material in there not much we'll go back down and clean it up a little more and then we'll come right back to the top okay we'll pull everything back and we will start wrapping it. I want to 
overlap my chenille just a little bit. Sally Hansen up here again. Hit that just a little bit right there, just enough to lock our threads in place. Get our whipping tool and we will get ready to wind this up. It's going to go five times. Cinch it down and cut her. Cut her threads. Uh oh. Guess I didn't have a good hold on it. Went flying across my table here. There we go guys, a little uh, crawfish chenille in orange and black. As we've been doing lately, we'll get it wet here and you see what it looks like. We shake it off there a little bit. Right there's what it looks like when you get it wet. Too bad. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching the video. If you liked the video, just take a second there and hit that like and subscribe. We'll catch y'all next time.